how market system programming differs from what we've done in the past. I think what we've done in the past is, is we've selected singular value chains, like, okay, we're going to have three value chains, and let's pick what they're going to be, maize, dairy, horticulture, what, or beans and coffee and, and, and whatever. And um, without thinking about the interaction amongst those value chains, without thinking about the interconnections between those value chains. And I, I think another key thing is really being clear about the theory of change and how that theory of change should guide which value chains we're selecting. So the theory of change, for example, um, is going to focus surely on, on how to reduce poverty. So in a lot of countries, if you increase the productivity of the staple crop, there is this hypothesis that it will free up land to devote to higher value commodities. So thinking about what those are. and so. What is the trajectory that you're trying to achieve to reduce poverty? And in thinking about that, think that then set, helps select which value change you want to focus on.